Okay, four on the floor. Um, brought to you by Citywide Banks. Four questions, 30 seconds each. When you hear the bell, shh. Okay. Okay, biggest overreaction you heard after week one of the NFL season. Could be Broncos, could be something else. Colts are completely overrated. That's an overreaction. Total overreaction. Yeah. Yep. You you think they're going to straighten things out? You think that defense is good enough I to, think to win a Super Bowl? Didn't say that. People don't even think they're going to make the playoffs because they went to Buffalo and lost. Okay. Uh, biggest overreaction that I heard, Peyton is shot. I was getting that all over Twitter. Peyton is shot. Give it some time, folks. Look, he is 39. He, he, he might not be what he was even two years ago, but he ain't shot. He's still one of the best 10 quarterbacks in this league, and he will get things straightened out. All right, number two. Most significant injury in the NFL this weekend? Suggs by far. Really by far? Well, oh, Des Bryant. Suggs by far. Why? Because uh, offensively, I think Romo is good enough, and that offensive line is unbelievable. I, do, I shouldn't say by far. I think Suggs, Suggs is a better player at his position my opinion, a more impactful player at his position, and I can get an argument all day about this, than I think Des Bryant is. I'd always rather have a stud linebacker than a stud wide receiver. Who can rush the passer, by yes. the way, which is really important. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to call it a tie with Suggs I think that's and fair Des too. Bryant. I think I'm, that's and I'm going to say Suggs for, for a little bit different reason. I'm going to tweak a little bit. Right. Baltimore's offense isn't that impressive to me. Right. Baltimore's going to have to win more often than not with defense. Right. You just lost your leader on defense. Right. Great sack guy. And people don't know this about Suggs, or at least a lot of people don't. He is one of the best run stuffers in the game. Yeah. Not just one of the best pass rushers. Right. So that's a huge, huge loss for Baltimore. And Des Bryant, because Romo doesn't have a ton of great offensive weapons, he's got a mediocre second wide receiver in Terrence Williams. He doesn't have great running backs. Fair. And they've got a really tough schedule coming up. Yeah. So the loss of Des Bryant, they need Des Bryant to get through that schedule the first half of the season. Go take a look at it. All right, number three. Are the Browns doomed? Now that Johnny Manziel has to play quarterback because uh, McCown went out with an injury. I believe it was a concussion, right? Yes. They were doomed with McCown. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so at least they're going to be more entertaining with Johnny. Well, they need to play Manziel. They wasted a high draft pick. I say wasted because I believe that. They wasted a high draft pick on him, but kind of like with Tebow, see what you got. Throw him in there. Eggs are ready. I get a ding because I mentioned Tebow. Yeah. Eggs Throw are him ready. in there, and you're right. They're not going to win anything with McCown. No. McCown people, people uh, for some reason, they think McCown is a, is a good NFL quarterback. In his seven- or eight-year career, he had one good half season mm -hmm. with the Chicago Bears. Right. That is it. So throw Manziel in there and see what he can do. You know what's scary? Not much, by the way. You know what's scary? What? You don't want to sign Osweiler? That's fine. McCown is one of the best free agent quarterbacks out there after this season. He was, which is saying something no, about no. the quality of no, the free agent No, no, he's, free agent he's going to be, isn't he? Isn't McCown a free agent uh, after this season? I don't know if they only signed him to a one-year deal. I'm not sure. I think they did. Still don't want him. Two Monday night games tonight. Two Monday night games. Do you like that, or, or is it kind of dumb? It makes the makes people feel important because their team is on Monday Night Football, like specifically that second game. What about from a fan standpoint? They love it. What about from a marketing standpoint? It's tremendous. You think? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, more football, the better. All right. I'm going to take the opposite take. I think it's too much. I know, I know it seems we can't get enough of the NFL. We can't. People look we at preseason games. We just watched... 14 games between Thursday and Sunday. Right. Monday night, you know, more relaxed night. You got to get work ready for work or school the next day. And one game is enough. Keep the spotlight on one game. That's the beauty of Monday night football. It's one game. It's the only game everybody's watching. Mm -hmm. Now you got to watch six, six and a half more hours of football. I don't too much. I don't think it's a problem. I, I, I hear oversaturation. You, I, I hear your point about oversaturation, but to me, it's oversaturated if you have a game, two, a game on Monday a game on Tuesday, a game on Thursday, yeah. a game on Saturday. To me, it's not about having two games. It's about having so many games over so many days of the week. And now we're Sunday, Monday, and Thursday. You add one more day in there, then you've oversaturated. Yeah. But, and by the way, it only happens one time a year. Whatever you were going to say, I was going to say the opposite. I could have made an argument either way. 
I thought it was time to take my NyQuil. No, that's the two-minute warning. Yeah. Uh, four on the Floor brought to you by Citywide Banks. They are a family-owned, Colorado-focused business bank. They have a dozen locations around Denver and Boulder, so there is one near you. Keep an eye out for them. They've got a lot of services that your business could need, and they do support a lot of charities around Colorado. So do your banking where we do ours here at the Sports Show. Go to Citywide Banks. I am Citywide Banks. I am Citywide Banks. At Citywide Banks, we put you first by exceeding your service expectations every day. Every day.